Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and it's the end of a very long day and we're out gathering uh, what appears to be another swarm but this one's slightly unusual in that they've set up home in a garden storage box and the owners of the garden storage box tell us that they've actually created comb inside so it looks like it might be um, a version of a cutout. So I thought it'd be quite good to show you what we do. So we're going to use one of the new Maysmore nukes to house them. We're going to open up the box and see if we can find the queen and get her into a queen cage. And then we'll see what we've got to deal with once we get the lid open. And then hopefully we can get the queen into the nuke box and the rest of the bees will then follow. So uh, we're going to get the smoker lit, suited up and uh, see what we've got. Okay, so it looks like actually they've started building some comb over in this corner. Okay, so it looks like the bees have been building quite a nest down here so we're going to remove all of the pillows and all of the cushions and we're going to see if we can find the queen and get her into a, a queen cage. After managing to get all the cushions out, we found the queen. She's only a small queen and she's unmarked, so she was quite tricky to spot, but we've now got her in a cage here. So we're going to place her into the box. So this is the nuke box. And we're going to just place her in the bottom of the nuke box. And then we're going to shake the bees in They will detect her pheromone. And then we can just brush the bees off. And then we can start moving some of the furniture away and the bees will only have the nuke box to be able to go to. So we're going to move the 
nucleus box just over to the side where the bees can start to detect a pheromone and then hopefully over the next maybe hour or so the bees will start to migrate over into the nuke box. So we've got the queen in a queen cage suspended between the frames in the bottom box and I'm just going to strap them up and we'll leave them here for probably 24 hours just to allow them to settle down and then we'll come back and collect them probably tomorrow. The bees are now at our isolation apiary, so we've moved that swarm across here uh, and they'll remain here now for uh, certainly a few months so that we can keep an eye on them to make sure that they have no diseases. We've got them in the uh, Maysmore Poly Commercial Nuke Box and they, I think, are settling in quite well. We're going to take a quick look at them and see how they're doing and give them some sugar syrup so that they can continue to build on the frames of foundation that they've got. Okay, so we've got the bees in the nuke box here. This is one of the Maysmore Apiaries polystyrene nuke boxes that we are testing out and that they've very kindly sent to us. And um, one of the things that we've discovered is that we need to paint the inside of the feeder. So we've brought uh, the second feeder along and we're going to replace the feeder here. But first, let's just take a look at the bees inside. I have given the bees a little bit of smoke. And as you can see, there's plenty of bees flying. So we'll just take off the feeder that hasn't been painted. Uh, I was so keen to use the new poly nukes that uh, we just put it together with the feeder on top. Um, but this one, as you can see, has been painted, so we'll just give them a little bit of smoke. And they weren't a huge colony, but they were certainly being very busy. And you can now see that they are actually being very busy because they've drawn these frames very, very quickly. Um, this was a sheet of foundation just two days ago. Um, which looked like this and now we've got a frame that's been pretty much drawn completely on one side so these girls are ready for some extra food as well 
We saw the Queen and popped her into a cage and then last night we came over and uh, just let her out of the cage to make sure that uh, she could get out and about and start laying. And I'm just going to check to see if she's laid any eggs yet. So there are no eggs in that side of the frame. And I don't need to use a hive tool because they haven't used any propolis to stick the frames together yet. They're just starting to work on that side. But if you look on this side, they've almost drawn. So that's two sides of commercial frames that they've started to draw out into comb to use for the queen to lay her eggs in. And for the non-beekeepers out there, and I know that Sarah and, and your family are probably going to be watching this, um, the bees will store nectar, which they'll turn into honey, and they also store pollen. So the pollen is their protein food, and the nectar is their carbohydrates. And then in the middle of the frame, the queen will lay her eggs, and that's where the larvae and the, the new bees will develop. And I think what we'll do is we'll come back again in a few weeks' time and do another video and just show you how far they've advanced. But the queen hasn't yet started laying in, in those, so we'll pop that back. But I'm, uh, I'm really pleased that the, the bees are doing so well after their stressful and traumatic change of environment. We'll just make sure we don't trap any bees as we put these frames back. So that's great. Okay, so we'll put the feeder on. So this is the new feeder that we've painted. And there's a small bee space beneath the feeder, so it's not going to trap any bees. And then we put the sugar syrup in both sides, and it travels underneath two baffles and seeps in underneath, and then we've got a a little perspex cover so the bees can come up the middle and over the side and feed on the sugar syrup but they can't get into the main bulk of the sugar syrup which uh, potentially they could drown in so we'll leave that cover on and it's also nice to be able to see the bees come up and feed so when when they are feeding we'll do another video and just show you how they're feeding and for the beekeepers out there this is a simple one-to-one -one sugar syrup, so a litre of water to a kilo of sugar. So I'll just take the screen out and then I can just allow some of the sugar syrup to dribble down to where the bees are and they'll then come up and start feeding because they'll then know where the sugar syrup is. Okay, so we pop the cover back in and then we can put the roof back on. So I'm really pleased with the way the colony is settling in. They're pulling that wax foundation. We're going to keep the sugar syrup going into them now until they've drawn all of those frames. And then once they've drawn all of the frames in that nuke, we can transfer them across into a full-size hive and hopefully they're going to be healthy and productive. They seem really calm, so uh, hopefully we've managed to pick up a really nice swarm. My thanks to Sarah and her family for allowing us to go along and collect that swarm. And uh, if you happen to be a non-beekeeper and you're interested in supporting us in our videos and supporting honeybees and pollinators in general, then take a look at our Patreon page, which is patreon.com forward slash Norfolk Honey, where you can sponsor a beehive. I'll put the full details in the description below. If you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also click on the little bell symbol and then you'll be notified when we publish our next video. Uh, next week we'll be back at the allotment to check up on our new colony uh, for the Getting Started series. And don't forget we've got our regular videos going out uh, on a Sunday, which at the moment are our queen rearing videos. And also on Fridays we've got our Maysmore Apiaries Polyhives video and we'll soon be getting bees into those hives, so it'll be well worth watching how that goes.
Well, that's it for today, so we'll catch up next time. Thanks for watching.